Hi. Muslims make many amazing claims about the Qur'an. They say there is only one Qur'an in Arabic, and there are no other versions of it, and it has been perfectly preserved. They additionally claim the Qur'an we have today is identical to the one revealed to Muhammad. In this Muslim publication, A Brief Illustrated Guide to Understanding Islam, it says in chapter 1, Not one letter of the Qur'an has been changed over the centuries. In fact, the Qur'an itself claims in chapter 15 verse 9, وَإِنَّا نَحْنُ نَزَّلْنَا الذِّكْرَ وَإِنَّا لَهُ لَحَافِظُونَ Which means, Verily we, meaning Allah, it is we who have sent down the dhikr, meaning the Qur'an, and surely we will guard it from corruption. Notice the footnote at the bottom. It says, It is a clear fact that more than 1,400 years have elapsed, and not a single word of this Qur'an has been changed. In this video, I will expose and refute those claims. The truth is, there are actually many Arabic Qur'ans, and yes, we can rightfully refer to them as different versions. I have two versions right here. This one is the reading of Asim, transmitted by Hafs, and it's the most popular Qur'an used today. This one is the reading of Abu Amr, transmitted by Ad-Duri, used in Africa, particularly in Sudan and parts of West Africa. For the rest of this video, I will simply refer to these Qur'ans as either Hafs or Duri. I will now display variants from these different Qur'ans to prove the Muslim claims are wrong. I've taken pictures, labeled them according to the Qur'an version, with chapter and verse number, and I've underlined the variants for you in blue. Please note the Hafs and Duri Qur'ans follow a different verse numbering system, but the variants displayed here are actually the same verse in the same chapter. So let's begin. Variant number one, Qur'an chapter two, verse 271 says, if you disclose your charitable expenditures, they are good, but if you conceal them and give them to the poor, it is better for you. And he will remove from you some of your misdeeds thereby, and Allah, with what you do, is fully acquainted. Now let's read the Arabic. إِن تُبْدُوا صَدَقَاتِ فَنِعِمَّا هِيَ وَإِن تُخْفُوهَا وَتُؤْتُوهَا الْفُقَرَاءَ فَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ وَيُكَفِّرُ عَنْكُمْ مِنْ سَيِّئَاتِكُمْ وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ خَبِيرٌ Notice here the Hafs Qur'an says, He will remove, or يُكَفِّر. But the Duri says, We will remove, نُكَفِّر. In the Hafs Qur'an, the variant is a third-person, masculine singular, imperfect verb. But in the Duri Qur'an, it's a first-person, plural, imperfect verb. Notice also, according to these two readings, these two words begin with different letters. The letter Nun in the Duri Qur'an, Nukaffir, and the letter Ya in the Hafs, Yukaffir. So this is an example of an actual consonantal difference that changes the meaning of the word. In addition, this variant actually leads to a serious theological problem. You see, Islam teaches that when Allah speaks in the plural we, he does so to express his power because plurality expresses more power than the singular does. Muslims call this the plural of majesty. An example is Quran chapter 75 verses 1 to 4. In other words, when Allah speaks in the plural using we, he's expressing his multiplicity of power. The third person singular does not emphasize the power of God like the first person plural does. So, there is a theological difference here between these two Qur'ans. Therefore, theologically speaking, in this verse, Allah is more powerful at removing sins in the Duri Qur'an than He is in the Hafs Qur'an. So my question is, which Allah is more powerful? The Allah in the Hafs Qur'an or the Allah in the Duri Qur'an? Variant number two. Qur'an chapter two verse ten says, There is a sickness in their hearts which Allah has increased. For them, there is a painful punishment because they lie. Now let's read the Arabic. فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٌ فَزَادَهُمُ اللَّهُ مَرَضًا وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَلِيمٌ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْذِبُونَ Notice here the Hafs Qur'an says, They lie, or يَكْذِبُونَ But the Duri says, They accuse others of lying, يُكَذِّبُونَ So my question is, Is the punishment because these people lie, or because they accuse others of lying? Clearly, these two meanings are not exactly the same. Variant number three, Quran chapter six, verse 115 says, And the word of your Lord has been fulfilled in truth and in justice. None can change his words, 
and he is the all-hearer, the all-knower. Now let's read the Arabic. وَتَمَّتْ كَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ صِدْقَ وَعَدْلَ لَا مُبَدِّلَ لِكَلِمَاتِهِ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ Notice here the Hafs Qur'an says word or kalima, but the Duri says words or kalimat. In the Hafs Qur'an, the variant is a feminine singular noun, but in the Duri Qur'an, it's a feminine plural noun. So my question is, is the word of God fulfilled or the words of God fulfilled? Clearly, these two meanings are not exactly the same. Variant number four, Quran chapter 9 verse 66 says, Make no excuse, you have disbelieved after your belief. If we pardon one faction of you, we will punish another faction because they were criminals. In this verse, we actually have two sets of variants. So let's read the Arabic. لا تعتذروا قد كفرتم بعد إيمانكم إن نعفو عن طائفة منكم نعذب طائفة بأنهم كانوا مجرمين. In the first variant set, the Hafs Quran says, "We pardon, na'afu," which is in the active voice, first person plural. But the Duri says, "We're pardoned, yu'fa," which is in the passive voice. In the second variant set, the Hafs Quran says, "We will punish, nu'adib." But the Duri says, get punished, to adab. In Hafs, you have the active voice, first person plural, imperfect verb. But in Duri, you have a passive voice, singular verb. Also notice here, according to these two readings, the two sets of variants all begin with different letters. The letter Nun in the Hafs Quran, Na'fu, and the letter Ya in the Duri, Yu'fa. Also notice the letter Nun in the Hafs Quran, Nu'adib, and the letter Ta in the duri, to adab. So this is another example of an actual consonantal difference that changes the meaning of the word. And again, just like the variant in Quran chapter 2 verse 271, this variant also leads to a serious theological problem. Because in the Hafs Quran, Allah speaks in the plural of majesty using the word we to express the multiplicity of his power, but he does not do that in the duri Quran. So there is a big theological difference here between these two Qur'ans. Therefore, theologically speaking, in this verse, Allah is more powerful in pardoning and punishing in the Hafs Qur'an than He is in the Duri Qur'an. So my question is, which Allah is more powerful? The Allah in the Hafs Qur'an or the Allah in the Duri Qur'an? Variant number 5. Qur'an chapter 43 verse 24 says, He said, Even if I bring you better guidance than that which you found your fathers following, they said, Verily, we disbelieve in that with which you have been sent. Now let's read the Arabic. Notice here the Hafs Quran says, Qala, or he said. But in the Duri Quran, it says, Qul, meaning say. This is a command verb. In the Hafs Qur'an, the variant is a third person, masculine singular, perfect verb, but in the Duri Qur'an, it's a second person, masculine singular, imperative verb. This is an important difference between these two Qur'ans. So my question is, is it an order which must be obeyed, as in the Duri Qur'an, or is it simply a statement someone said, as in Hafs? Finally, I think most of you will agree, I have exposed and refuted the Muslim claims mentioned at the beginning of this video. From the five examples I've provided, you've seen variants which are drastically different in meaning, sometimes even accompanied by major theological differences. 